Welcome to this episode of On Photography. We're out here on Lake Huron. It's kind of a cold morning, but I want to get out here and do some testing with the uh, EM1, with the new firmware. So I've got this now set up, so it's uh, set for 4K with image stabilization. So one of the things I want to do is uh, start, uh, start recording on this. So let's see, I think I've got recording starting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of walk around with this and hopefully the a little bit of a breeze behind me so hopefully the noise isn't too bad. But what I want to do is kind of show you guys as I'm walking with this and just kind of panning it. And I do have this hand grip on it and it's cold out here this morning. So what I want to do is actually get up here along the water line, walk down around got a little bit of gap here and see how this video performs uh, you know hopefully you can kind of see a little bit in the hat cam as I'm walking around here the uh, the water and the jerkiness I want to see how the, how this does um, with this and then I'm gonna pan just hand pan the lake here And I'm going to, so that's about a little over a minute of video. So I'm going to stop the video. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to go back here. And I'm going to go to 4K settings now. So I did that in 4K. Now the thing is to, to uh, stabilize it's going to have to be digital stabilization. So I'm now going to go to 2K. And I'm going to try the same thing in 2K. So, um, so I've got see I've, I've got video stabilization on. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing in 2K. And so uh, just kind of pan around the horizon. We just had a ship go by, so we have some wakes. And I kind of want to come down along the water again, some pans, and then come back, sweeping back up. And then the trees of autumn just kind of panning around my surroundings. And coming up close. Now, one of the other things, again, sorry if there's a little bit of breeze noise in the background. Um, the wind's kind of kicking up a little bit, but I want to get this out. So, okay, we've done that. Now, I, I want to perform one last test. So, uh, we've got that. I'm going to go back here into my settings and I'm now just going to drop this down to um, 1080p 30 frames Whoops. and I think I got that on 1080p now interesting so it's got a little camera icon with a shake on it so it tells me that I'm in uh, in uh, stabilized mode. So again, I'm just kind of going down. I want to come out across with a pan shot here. And the reason I'm doing this is with the different resolutions is the, um, you know, the, the lower resolution actually the better the stabilization I would think would be. And so that's kind of what I want to play with. So, uh, Anyways, what all I've done, you know, of course I can't see what this looks like because it's in the camera and we're going to have to take it out of the camera. Uh, you know, so as I've been talking and doing this, I've overlaid the film or the footage. So I'll have comments down below what I thought of it and, and uh, interested to see what you guys think of it too. Uh, so I want to stop the video. So the autofocus, especially in video mode, has improved with version 3 of the firmware. So... Uh, definitely high, a big upgrade. Now, the other piece I want to hit on is this grip. I don't, don't know if I've done a review of this grip yet or not because uh, I was expecting version 3 to come out and do these a little bit later. But this, this grip, really nice addition to this. You know, sort of as you can see here. I can hold this and uh, it keeps it at a nice distance from my face. Now, I need to have reading glasses to see. So I've got reading glasses on and I can really see what I pan it around. So... Hopefully you found this interesting. So, hey, cool.
cold uh, morning here on Lake Huron, kind of demonstrating some stuff with the EM-1. Uh, again, I think with version uh, 3 of the firmware, this camera is a winner-winner chicken dinner. So, uh, And that's kind of why I bought into the platform is I, with the firmware updates, I think this thing for 300 bucks is going to do nothing but become better. So watch for more episodes. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.